Episode number two of Hustler Answers, where I answer your questions. We're going to do three different questions today from you guys. And what do you know, sneaker related. So let's get into the questions. YouTube subscriber Tanner Tate, topic sneakers. What's your favorite shoe of all time? So I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys the condition of my favorite shoe of all time. Check out this box. Uh, kind of crappy. Probably should have taken better uh, care of this. But the Nike Air More Up Tempo, my favorite shoe of all time. I'll show you guys here. Size 10 and a half. 160 was a retail and this is the 2011 release so uh, when I picked these up I got them at finish line I had a buddy that worked there he gave me a great deal on them I only paid I think at the time 80 or 90 bucks and these sat on shelves for a long time too I was like man can you hook me up on these like I really really want these and uh, he was like dude no one's buying them like no one wants them and during that time too, 2011, there's probably a lot of different shoes that people wanted and stuff like that now. But at the time, shoes were not as hyped up as they are right now. And why do I like this shoe so much? There's no other shoe that looks like this. And at the time, I think what, 6th grade, 7th grade, my mom wouldn't buy these for me. No way she was going to put that money down for this shoe. And I really, really wanted them. I think you either wanted the Concord 11, Bread 11 or these because of the Bulls, Pippen, Jordan, Rodman, everything they were doing. I was like Randy Brown wanting to, wanting to wear uh, every shoe that Jordan and Pippen put out. So my favorite shoe of all time, Nike Air More Up Tempo and just a beautiful looking shoe. And I actually tried playing basketball on these. I don't know how Pippen got up and down the court wearing them. They're super heavy and uh, I don't know, I've worn them a couple of times, like I said, I tried doing it on court, I've worn them um, just casually once in a while, but easily my favorite shoe of all time. YouTube subscriber Brandon, topic eBay question, what do you use on eBay to find out the profit you could make on a product? So for this, you're going to want to use the eBay app. If you have a smartphone, which I hope you do, then you can easily go through the completed listings and see what certain items are selling for. So I'm actually going to break that down for you right now. So you're going to start off with downloading the eBay app on your smartphone. Open that app up. We're going to search for something. Let's say we find these Kobe 9 Elites out in the wild. Burlington, Ross, somewhere. How do we know they're Kobe 9 Elites? Well, we know the signature model. We know the Nike swoosh on there. We know the Kobe logo on the tongue. And on the very inside of the shoe even has Victory on there. So we know what kind. Kobe 9 Elite Victory. And we're going to search for that and see what happens. So we search it on eBay. You see it on top. We have 53 results. But we want to filter these results out to find exactly what we're looking for. So click on filter the top right hand corner and now a new pop-up screen is going to come up you can see there's different amount of results now because we're going to turn on completed items and sold items they're green uh, recent first so we can find out what's been selling lately and last you want to go to the condition since we're finding brand new shoes at ross and burlington we only want to see the results for new selling shoes and not used so it's going to filter that out you're going to go to done now we can see the prices 179 174.99 159 uh, some people include shipping, some of them don't. You can see $125 free shipping, $125 plus $12 shipping. Um, so you can kind of see where the price is and where they're selling right now. But let's say we don't know anything about Kobe 9 Elites. We don't even know what this shoe is. You can search for these digits right there uh, on the Nike tag. Search for that on Google and it will give you the exact name of the shoe. YouTube subscriber, The Grand Admiral. Topic ross finds and selling do you have a ross budget or is it fair game you buy whatever you want if it's reasonable as of right now i don't have a budget uh when i first started though i was very very picky on the shoes i was picking up because i didn't have a lot of money to work with so if i found if i found a shoe that i really really wanted that i knew i could make some money on i'd pick it up 
Um, but a lot of the times I would pass on things just because the risk was just too high for me at the time, um, putting in that money. As far as right now though, uh, I think I've spent 300, 500 different times at Ross. I really don't spend a lot, a lot of money, but uh, like I said, I try to go as often as possible. So um, no budget, I'll try to spend as much money as I can if I know the profit is there. But when I first started, I was very, very cautious with my money and what I was spending. We now have six eligible subscribers to win. Three more subscribers in and we will have the giveaway at the very end of the month. You can still ask me anything. Go to hustlerhacks.com slash giveaway, fill that out, ask me a question. And if you see your question on here, then you are automatically entered in the chance to win the Jordan 12 backpack. So we have six people so far entered and uh, we'll have 12, one of 12, somebody will win the backpack but you still have time to submit your questions. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and get it.